Hey guys, Ramon here, and um, sorry for uh, making this tutorial a little bit late. I didn't make it the same day because I wanted to get the editing context results up, but um, I'm making this tutorial because I said if I get 35 likes on uh, this one episode I edited, I'll show you how to do the second shot effect. So hold on, let me just get it right now. And you guys uh, got 40. So, yo, pop the top off and look up to the sky. Let me just skip to it. right here so I don't know how smooth that was for Camtasia but it's pretty easy I did all the hard work for you guys and um, instead of showing you how to create that I just put it as an overlay so you don't have to do the, all that hard work and also I made it black and white for a reason I'll explain that right now alright so you know open a new video track and set the compositing mode to add so it will show up on the clip and you know it looks pretty good white you know it has it's like CC burst explosion and then you can see I have particles fading in and then you know particles keep going and going and going you know and then you would fade off the particles so let's say you know I'm not gonna twixer and all that let's say you want the particles in there you would just uh, split the clip delete the rest of the particles and then you'd fade offset so you can see you have the particles and then they slowly transition away nice and smoothly but the reason why I made it black and white is you can see it's already kind of bright and I also put uh, flares by default to make the stars kind of glow you know just to give them a better look to them but the reason why I made it black and white is um, I'm gonna put a marker here so I can get back to it and I'm gonna make the quality higher so it's better to see but you know you're editing and you have a color correction on well you know maybe you want it to look something different so uh, let's just drag this one on you know I mean these kinda match because of the colors but it's more of a reason so you can put a color correction on the overlay itself so you can color it too instead of just having it be white you could have it be blue if you add one like I think this would yeah so you can make them just different colors and customize it instead of just having it green because you know there's some color questions where it just wouldn't look good green you can color it yourself do different things with it and just come up with things with it and that's what I like about it um like that's why every overlay I give out it's black and white so you guys can customize it yourselves and it can look different for everyone see now it looks completely different from a white you have all these bright blue flares and kind of a purple shade it looks like a, the actual clips has a color correction on it but I don't know that's just really why it's there and that's, that's really it there's nothing else you can really do with overlay except you know you can color it because it's black and white and speed it up and make sure to fade offset your uh, particles and oh um, one more thing actually now that I think about the speed thing, um, if you want your particles to go faster, I guess what you could do is you could split the clip where it's you know just particles, and then drag out the overlay and then speed it up, and then you can see that oh. the particles go a lot faster than it normally would. But um, yep, that's it. And uh, don't worry, uh, you may not have, hopefully you should not have noticed um, any overlay. I'll play it right now. You can see there's a watermark right here. Don't worry about that because I'm pretty sure that this entire tutorial you haven't noticed the watermark. You can kind of notice it right there on him, but you put a color correction on your clip and it's gone, so people won't notice it. Don't worry. And uh, yep, that's pretty much the overlay. Definitely really sick. And uh, thank you guys for helping me hit 40 likes. So download is in the description. Peace.